Hey guys, Matt here. This is day three of the Windows Defender uh, anti-malware test uh, running on Windows 10. I just updated it. You can see uh, the date and the definitions. And I'll go ahead and minimize it. Today was a super, super busy day with malware. It, uh, the two mail servers that I managed, they, they got pounded pretty bad today. So I pulled down a few samples and I want to see um, how uh, Windows Defender, if Windows Defender is able to recognize them. So let's move these old samples from last week over to here. And hopefully I can do a little drag and drop action and uh, we'll start off with uh, our zip files first. All right, there's one. So Windows Defender doesn't really scan uh, into a zip or into an archive right away. You kind of have to open it. And then once you drag the archive out or double click it, Windows Defender usually Yeah, you, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, Windows Defender will usually, you know, recognize that as malware once you drag it out of the archive. Um, it's odd that this piece of malware needs a framework. <laughs> I don't know, that's just weird. Uh, we'll scan it later. Let's go ahead and go to our second archive. Drag that one over there. Please read your last secured EFT, whatever, summary. All right, we got an EXE. We'll pull that out. It looks like a PDF. It's not. We double click it. And nothing happens. Run as administrator. So this one got through. Yeah, this stuff is fresh, brand new malware. It's less than a few hours old. All right, let's move on to our other um, zip. Pull that right there. It's my statement. Looks like another PDF. Go ahead and double click it. Again, that one gets through. Um, another one I have, I could, I could, I could download like a hundred of these things today. It was unreal. I had so many alerts because I was going to pay attention to how many viruses hit our filters every day. It was just nonstop. Oh hell, I forgot which one it was. Verify. Okay. Let's try double clicking on it from the archive. Uh, Windows Defender finds that one. Let's see if I bring it out here. And if I double click on it out there, it's gone. So it found that one. So about time it found something there. Uh, let's see. All right, some of these little doc files. Doesn't really detect it. I don't know what it is. Pull this one off. It detected that one. And we'll do this last one. All right, and to wrap this whole thing up, let's go ahead and do a full scan and see if it was just busy cleaning stuff and missed something, who knows. But right now it, it lets some, it looks like some pretty serious threats right through. We'll do a full scan and scan now. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, so it came back and it said, uh, this app detected two potential threats on your PC. Show details. Um, okay, we'll just go ahead and it finds um, this little doc file. It says it's a Trojan downloader. And it found some stuff in app data and that was about it. So it leaves all these other archives and things on the desktop. 
So right now, I mean, uh, I kind of feel like Windows Defender is sort of junk. I definitely wouldn't rely on it. I don't even know if I really need to do, do like a like a wrap up video where I boot to like a bootable antivirus. Maybe maybe I will like throw on another antivirus and and scan with it. Maybe you guys can like vote on what antivirus I should you know finish up with. But as of now, it looks like it's just total shit. Or sorry, crap. Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is a quick video. It was only five minutes, 50-something seconds. So um, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and upload this now, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah. Of course, one last thing. If you think uh, my videos are worth like a buck a month, maybe you can go ahead and be a patron. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link right here, somewhere around here. Uh, I have a whopping four patrons right now. I'd like to say thanks to you guys. Um... I don't know. I never thought I would have one, but it's an honor.